1. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 22, Thoughts. This episode is called S.O.S. Part 2. So, another episode I love. Spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that was released after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. And then there are some links that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into... The episode. I, I guess, yeah, the very first thing I'll say is, holy crap, it's going to be difficult to wait for season three. And I know, that sounds ridiculous, because I watch an episode per day. Um, I'm not going to start watching season three of this before I've watched season one of Agent Carter. So, you know, that's like almost two weeks. So, uh, pray for me. Send help. No, seriously, I I am really psyched to to see episode this is season three. I'm also psyched for Agent Carter. Big fan of the the you know the character and the actress, and um, yeah, I think that is all. Yes, yeah, so let's dive in and yeah. So Coulson tries talking down Zabo, and he says the you know Jaying is the real monster, you know, he, he did start saying that in, in part one during the conversation as well, and, you know, to, to, to be clear, this is the kind of thing, you know, I would have a problem with a male villain being motivated entirely by a woman if this was the only way that they, they handle the male villains on this show, but tons of them, their motivation is not a, a woman, you know, or, or at the very most, they'll use a woman as an excuse, but it's clear that the woman doesn't actually want that. You know, Grant Ward, for example, Whitehall, just, yeah, so, you know, but basically, Zabo is the only one where, and, and it does also seem like it's not quite accurate. You know, he's not doing it because He's not doing what he's doing because Jai Ying made up a monstrous plan and told him to go through with it. He's doing it because he believes it'll keep the family together. And let's see. Yeah. And, you know, we... we the, the show cuts to the... What, what looks like, you know, it, it looks like it's kind of, it's getting kind of dark out... And we go to the, the battleship, and Sky was saved by Mac tonight. And, yeah, you know, she, she can't use the powers because of the, the, the gloves, but, you know, Mac just needs her to, to hack. And this does, in fact, mean that after the you know, some of the most powerful Inhumans, some of the most influential Inhumans on the show told Sky it's bad that S.H.I.E.L.D. made those gloves to control your powers. They forcibly put them on her. So, you know, you can add hypocrisy to their growing list of evil. And, and that is, you know, that is sadly true. There are a lot of evil people who engage in hypocrisy and do something that they claim the other side is doing. And, yeah, we learn Jai Ying is not interested in the, the beacon being shut off, but, it, but in it being expanded. And, yeah, okay, so I just got to... I ended up not writing it down. I have no idea why, but I just got to briefly talk about... So the, the crystals end up at the bottom of the ocean, and then they're, like, breaking, and, like, fish are inhaling it, and then they get turned into to fish pills, and the, the thing at the end says, you know, oh, it'll change your life, and, like, oh, you know, which is, because, yeah, they don't have an adverse effect on other animals. It's only, it's, it affects humans and inhumans, but we've never seen them affect, you know, so it's not going to turn the, the fish into to stone the way that it does with, with human beings. So, not non-inhuman human beings, which just, yeah, it's, holy crap, I, I, so, so yeah, season three, I'm guessing there's going to be more inhumans, more, you know, people, regular people, day-to-day -day people turning, you know, yeah, 
manifesting powers, and like Fitz finally manages to ask Gemma out on a date, which you know we've been building to for two whole seasons now, and then she gets like swallowed up by the the stone. Just holy crap! So yes, those were the things at the end of the episode that I didn't write down in my notes for whatever reason. So back to the chronological notes. Yeah, just he's super, really, really excited to see what happens next there. And I, I will, you know, it is kind of ridiculous, this thing of, you know, they keep preventing Fitzsimmons from becoming a couple. You know, they, they had him be really, you know, injured and, and his recovery seemingly hampered by her. And now he has recovered and she's back on the team. And then she goes into the stones. Or just, yeah. You know, network television handling romance, that's par for the course. It doesn't always have, you know, magical stones and, and near death, but there's usually something keeping them apart. And I really love Jiaying's evil smile. Like, she's she's really turned very cold now that she's in a situation where that's, like, called for. You know, the, the warm smile that she had earlier when appealing to Sky, you know, it really wouldn't fit here. So I appreciate that, yeah, they made this choice. And, and yeah, you know, she, Jiaying kills a few people to, to motivate Agent Weaver and says there will be more. Very, very creepy. And, and nice kind of ticking clock. You know, obviously we want that stopped, prevented. And, yeah, you know, they're setting up a trap to take out S.H.I.E.L.D. by luring everyone in. Which, yeah, you know, with enough crystals, if they get everyone on the on the ship, yeah, well, you know, they're, they're either going to, you know, turn out to have powers, at which point, you know, Jai Ying can say, oh, I mean, you can join me or you can go be their prisoner, or they're going to die, which, you know, Jai Ying doesn't mind. Let's see. Yeah, very, very clever of May. You know, she's like, all remaining agents converge on the South Hall. Don't stop until you see my face. Which, you know, Kara's like, ah, ah. You know, very, very clever. Just, and, and you know, then I, I think it's, uh, was it, no, let's see, it wasn't Lance. It was some, someone says to May, you know, the only agent left is, is Lance, which, you know, Lance is not going to go there until he's found Bobby, you know, and, and May says, Kara doesn't know that, you know. I will say, would it really have been impossible for Kara to briefly radio Grant and say, I'm going to pose as May again? I, I guess they just really wanted that twist, and it was very impactful, I will say. And... Yeah, you know, him him shooting her, like, three times in the gut. And then she's like, baby, just, oh, like, just... I know she was the one who, sh who was shot in the gut. I feel like I was stabbed in the gut and blade twisted. It's just... And it's, it's again, it's so nicely done because, you know, what's that saying? Live by the sword, die by the sword. Although this is shield, sword comes later. But just, yeah. You know, if you live a very violent life, you may experience a violent death. You know, if they had just retired instead of continuing to fight S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, you know, maybe they would have been able to hide and, and live out a, a safe life, but they kept choosing violence and they got it, you know, so very, very nicely done. And, and also, you know, Grant was 100% happy to shoot May three times in, in the, you know, that's another thing. If, if you, you know, if you love one person and you hate another person enough to cause violence toward that person, yeah, you might accidentally cause violence towards someone you love. You know, ideally, we should try to work out our issues to not ever want to cause violence. And... Bobby realizes that the only way to save herself, to save, to save 
Hunter is to have herself shot. Holy crap! At least it was only the shoulder, but it's and that's also you know yeah. At the by the end of the episode, she's like, I can't keep doing this. You know, I can't do this forever. And let's see, um, yeah, um, we have the. Uh, yeah, Mac expresses, you know, he, he has empathy for, was it sympathy for Sky making the decision she made. And, yeah, S Sky and Lincoln, you know, I really appreciate, like, yeah, at first he's like, Sky's the enemy, you know, she's with S.H.I.E.L.D. So he zaps her, and it looks really painful. She does manage to talk him down and... <laughs> points out to him, you know, Jai Ying is, is luring Rest of S.H.I.E.L.D. here. They're not going to hug it out, which I agree that that is factually accurate. If anyone has, like, drawn fan art of the Inhumans and the, Sh and the people of S.H.I.E.L.D. just hugging it out, please let me know, because that sounds absolutely adorable. That's yeah, and let's see. Yeah, and and Mac like hits Lincoln, and she's like, "I would, I was getting through to him," and and he's like, "I'm gonna cracking skulls first, asking questions later, kind of move right now." Also, like his, you know, he makes a reference to his mom watching Fox News, and I was like, "I thought that was bad," and yeah, which obviously it is, but not as bad as like waging war. And 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 yeah, Gemma tries to talk to to Fitz about the the you know when they were at the bottom of the ocean, and he said a thing, and he's like, "Are are we really having this conversation right now?" And it's like, "Dude, you're in a piece of American media. Of course, you're gonna have the conversation at the exact most inopportune time." You know, after all, everything else the Oracle said has come true. And let's see. Yeah, Sky manages to, to warn the Shield and and Colson does the classic American cowboy move of, you know, send everyone else away. We're finishing this. This is personal kind of thing. Just yeah. So ridiculous and I'm here for it. And let's see. Yeah, and and Jai Ying says, you know, they'll either be inhuman or they'll be dead. And yeah, Mac versus Gordon, very cool. As in, you must be Gordon, and who are you? I'm the guy that kills Gordon. <laughs> Badass. And just yeah, very cool fight. And the the Yeah, and Sky fighting four Alicia's, you know, at once before, you know, by near closer to the end of the episode, you know, Lincoln like zaps her and goes by Alicia. And yeah, just really, really cool. And and it is the kind of thing like, you know, Alicia is a really, really great fighter, but I'm not sure she has like quite like shield level training the way that sky does and but but yeah really really cool fight again and <laughs> hi honey <laughs> and let's see yeah they do manage to stop gordon from teleporting outside the room but he's still difficult to deal with inside the room and yeah you know it looks like jai ying is just having a conversation with sky but then she actually does the unthinkable and actually starts sucking out her Sky's life force. Just, holy crap, I really didn't think we'd end up there. But, yeah, you know, the she's not going to let anything stop her. And, you know, that also really does help. Like, I don't know that I was really thinking, oh, maybe they'll end up just capturing Jai Ying. But I really didn't expect her to go that far and yeah at that point yeah you gotta you know make sense for Zabo to, to take her out if she's willing to do that yeah the, there's not really any 
you know, they, they can't reform her. You know, because because at that point, like Sky, you know, it's not like Sky is about to shoot her or something. Sky is trying to talk her out of it. If hypothetically Jai Ying had at that point said, you know, you're right, this I, this has gone way too far. I'm I'm calling them off. You know, Sky could at least put in a good word for her, but you know, that's not how. That's yeah. Jai Ying is not willing to do that. Let's see, and I really appreciate that for like, you know, the the reveal that that Fitz managed to stab Gordon, like really, really, just yeah. And let's see, yeah, and the the, you know, he did get his hands on one crystal. And he he drops it, and Coulson does the the you know slides in and, and catches it, but his hand does of course start to turn into stone, and Mac, not one to to like you know just let things happen if he thinks he sees the wrong thing, just lops his hand off. I don't think Coulson thinks it's groovy, not yet at least. I guess we'll see in the next season. And I, I really love that it was such a, like, you have the shot of, like, the, the thing falling into the hand, and then the hand starts to turn, and then the hand just gets chopped up. Like, we don't see Mac, like, raise the axe and about to just, yeah. You know, it, I, I didn't see it coming. That was, yeah. And then we have, yeah, Zabo takes out Jai Ying. And yeah, and and the all the the danger has been resolved, and then you know we have the the setup for for the future with you know Colson talking about there are options for what to do with his hand. So yeah, really excited to see what they end up doing there. And let's see. yeah, Bobby and you know. Is, is maybe getting ready to quit, and Lance is... I, I could imagine he will follow her. And, yeah, you know, Mac is not crazy about all the alien artifacts, so Coulson put him in charge of them, so it can be sure that nothing bad... Will, which is also... That is a very, like, liberal way of, you know, yeah, so this is a really bad thing, Yes, but you will control it, and that makes it okay. It's not It's not that we should get rid of this really awful thing. It's just, it's the individual that that's what matters. And, yeah, in case you can't tell, I'm not exactly a, I'm not neoliberal. And uh, they're not anywhere near far left enough for me. And, and yeah, you know, apparently May has asked for time off. Which, yeah, that is, that is very, very, did not expect that. Uh, you know, so, yeah, also excited to see what exactly they, they do with her there later. And, you know, Sky, you know, yeah. Zabo is like, oh, you know, that would be the best day ever. And, and Sky's like, you have a lot of those. And he says, no, just one. And it, you know, and uh, what does he say? June 2nd, 1988, which is, of course, the day that, that Daisy was born. Which would be sweet, if not for the fact that he's actually referring to the fact that the neighbor's car that he got to borrow was just the, just the coolest car ever. No, it's kidding. And, let's see... Right, I, I appreciate that Lincoln did not let May shoot Alicia, you know, and, you know, he says something like, we're not evil, we're misled. I, I quite appreciate that even here in the finale, even as much bad as some of these Inhumans have done, you know, they're not trying to, to kill them if they can help it. And then we have... Yeah, um, Grant 
has has gotten a list of names and he says it's not long enough which you know I, I hear they have pills for that then you know yeah he's he wants a team around him he's tired of flying solo so he's going to take over at least some of Hydra you know there's not a lot left a lot of it has kind of dissolved without leadership he's going to be a new leader just yeah very very cool you know that's yeah if he's still determined to get revenge on May and maybe other shield you know people yeah he's gonna need a team and the yeah we we see that Zabo is now a vet and he doesn't right you know oh, Mr. Funny Face just it's really adorable and he doesn't recognize Sky even you know if she says her name is Daisy and he's like that's a, that's a nice name I like that you know and just yeah you know he got Tahiti and I do you know it's it's very bittersweet melancholy it's and and yeah the the it, it is this sort of thing of the the what's the word you know as yeah Daisy says he has a lot of good in him, and now he has a way to 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 let it out, or some something like that. You know, he has a lot to give. Now he has a way to give it. Some something like that. You know, and yeah, you know, it's it's sad, but it's probably true that you know the only way for him to to because you know even if you take you know he was the the fact that his mood you know would would like be very erratic you know that part of that is the the you know the procedure the the stuff he took and you know it seems like they've taken that out and I it makes a really gross dad joke where you know Gemma is like so the the physical changes seem to have improved and he's like well I have a wife lady just <laughs> wow but but yeah you know with they seem to have removed all that and you know, I do agree that they would. He would probably still be haunted by the things he's done if they didn't Tahiti him. So, yeah. And that brings us to some IMDb trivia. The actor credited as Thug Number Two is Loki. Loki is a stage name. Has nothing to do with Thor's brother or the MCU, which. Let's see, is he actually like a, um, oh, he's in music videos under the name Loki, so I guess he's like, he's a musician of some, huh, okay, um, I was wondering if he, but it doesn't say here if he's actually like Scandinavian, I don't think there's something wrong with taking that name on if you're not, but I don't know, I guess I just thought it would be kind of, kind of cool, but yeah. I, I seriously respect that. Loki's a, a very compelling character. Right, and yeah, near the end of the show, Agent May's locker number is shown to be number 33 throughout the season. The agent who has been impersonating May using a mask is referred to as Agent 33. And uh, Agent, yeah, Coulson loses uh, his left hand at the end of this episode. This is in keeping with the tradition of characters losing a hand or arm in phase two of the MCU, Aldrich Killian, uh, Thor and Thor 2, Bucky in uh, Captain America 2 and 3, uh, Nebula and Groot in Guardians 1, Ulysses Claw in A Avengers 2, Darren Cross in Ant-Man 1. <laughs> Near the end of the episode, when the team brings in Bobby, who has been shot, May gives Bobby's vitals to Simmons, Ming-Na Wen, who plays Agent May, played a doctor, uh, I hope I pronounced this right, Jing Mei Chen on ER. I haven't really watched ER. I've watched like a clip of, of her, but yeah, that is that is a very cool, because they didn't have to do that. They could have had another character, you know, talk about the vitals, those, yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of enjoyed when... Fits, you know, Gordon is like, you know, I'm trapped in here, that's not possible, what did you do? And Fitz, you know, says, science, biatch. So, I guess someone has been watching Breaking Bad. Yes, yeah, science!
Yeah, Mr. White. That is not a good impersonation of him at all. I haven't watched that much Breaking Bad. Just enough to know that that's... Yeah. And, yeah, I, I like when, when Fitz is you know, a quantum field disruptor. Should contain him in here if he comes back. Of course, why didn't I think of that? That's okay. You've been busy. And you're not a quantum physicist. Completely understandable. You know, Fitz, at some point, Mac is going to have to teach you what sarcasm is. And, yeah, the, the thing with, you know, Fitz comes in excited. Sir, good news. I modified my field generators to act in unison as a quantum field disruptor. And, you know, Coulson says, oh, great, you're saying you found a way to shut down Gordon's teleportation ability? And Fitz deflated says, well, now my, na now my news sounds less good. And Coulson's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's very funny. You know, there's so many shows where that would, you know, he would say, oh, you found a way to, and yes, sir, you did. this is how it works, you know, but, you know, was, you know he, he found a way to, he got some of the way there, but it's not, but yeah. Let's see. And, right, also like when Mac turns around and, you know, has a reaction, and we're like, oh, is it Gordon again or another Inhuman? And, no, it's Coulson. Let's see. And, <laughs> yeah, the, the thing when, you know, Coulson says to, to Garner, I'm your patient now. I wasn't your patient the other night when you and your ex-wife snuck into my office and drank up half my scotch. Yeah, that's very funny. And let's see. And and yeah, Zabo saying, you know, you're better than I imagined. I imagine you're perfect. You're way more interesting than that. And Sky says, I wonder where I get that from. That was also quite good bit. And And yeah, Colson saying, you know, I battle, I batted over point four hundred. Is that how you say it? I, I'm not a baseball person in a little league. And let's see, yeah, just you know, great episode, fantastic season finale. Like it actually, they did manage to top the first season's season finale, which. I'm very impressed by I did not expect that. Yeah. Um, and they, yeah, they did a really great job following up on all the, the, story, the, the plot story thre threads of the, the season in a very satisfying way. Like, it's wild to think, like, at the start of this season, Ward was in the, the, ah, what's it called? The, um... The, the cell that they have, which was also, that wasn't in season one. They had a, you know, the bus had a cell, but here the, the they have this other one, and, you know, yeah, he manages to escape, takes out his family. Yeah, and and actually, you know, now he's going to, to work with Hydra, despite, you know, not really... Which, you know, yeah, now that the other leaders are gone, like, he wasn't really on board with Hydra's goals. He was he was faithful to Garrett, not Hydra. And, yeah, now he can set new goals. Just, yeah. Uh, I really appreciate that they, they let Zabo have something of a happy Hollywood ending, even though he said he wasn't, he would have been silly to expect that. You know, the, yeah, I I like that they managed to keep alive at least some of the Inhumans, that it wasn't one of those, like, scorched earth, we gotta go in and take out everybody kind of things, which, you know, that's how they handled Hydra, because Hydra are Nazis, and Nazis, you cannot, you know, you, you have to stop all of them. You know, the Inhumans are not Nazis. You can talk to them. They, they have just been misled. Really appreciate that distinction made. Um, I suppose I somewhat already said it in the earlier video, but I really appreciate that Reyna, I, f I felt like it was a satisfying conclusion. You know, she's she's been saying from, from pretty much... 
possibly her very first episode, but for a long time, I just want to see what happens next. You know, I want to see what we turn into. And yeah, you know, she ended up with very clear answers. You are going to, you know, you, you will you will stop the inhuman slash shield war. You will make a leader out of Sky. You know, you you have a very important role to play. And though she wished she she wanted to be the leader herself, ultimately that is satisfying for her because she just wanted to matter. You know, she she felt like nobody cared about her. She wanted to matter, and she got to not in the exact way that she had wanted to, but before she dies, she has accepted her her fate, which you know that's that's something that you know if if you end up in a situation where you can do a lot of good, you know. Yeah, coming coming to accept that and embracing it is is a wonderful thing. So I really appreciate because because it's a character you know over the course of the show it's like, over the course of these two seasons it's like you could go either way with the character because like she's done some truly evil things but it's clear that she, she's not just like looking to hurt people in order to hurt people she doesn't want world domination you know these various things so yeah the fact that they let her redeem herself. I, I really appreciate. And yeah, you know, by the end of the this episode, it's like, you know, okay, so Sky is going to lead the powered people team and they're going to remain anonymous. You know, they're gonna stay in secret, not like the Avengers, which does of course bring up the issue of okay, so the fact that Avengers you know I suppose okay. Fair enough. If the truth came out, if people realized that the first time the Inhumans directly dealt with S.H.I.E.L.D., they tried to kill as many of them as they could, that would definitely... You know what? This does a better job than some other stories that have this kind of thing of, you know, you have some superhumans who do, you know, who are who are venerated, and then you have others where, you know, it's... It, it's used as a metaphor for bigotry, which, you know, for sure, the, the you know, yeah, I, I do think bigotry is a, is a huge problem and, and allegories for that in media. Great. I don't think they're always incredibly well handled, is what I'm saying. That is it for this one. So, yes, tomorrow I start on season one of Agent Carter. And I do season two after the next season of S.H.I.E.L.D., since that is how they originally aired when they first came out. But, yeah, um, I'm really going to miss this show for the next ten days or so. So, yes, that is it. And, yeah, um... I hope you will join me for Agent Carter, and always make mine marvel.